Did, did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Hey everyone, welcome back to Double Dippin' and Sippin'. Today we got another treat for you. Well, for me. I don't know if Kelly's gonna like this too much. I'll bet she can't wait till the seaweed and crawfish chips come. <laughs> As you know, last week... Really a thing? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> last week we did uh, the <laughs> Taste of Game series with a bunch of Taste of Game. And this week we are going to Scotland for oh, Mackie's. <laughs> Is that Scotland? Oh, laddies. That's probably okay. pretty good. Right. <laughs> Mackie's of Scotland. <laughs> and today we are going to do haggis, neeps, and taties. Yeah, are y'all saying haggis? Yeah, haggis. haggis. Or maybe I'm the only one that doesn't know. Yeah, what haggis well, is. we'll get to that. Or in... neeps for that matter in uno momento. Mm. So Mackey's crisps were found in 2009 by the Taylor family who are fourth generation potato farmers along with Mackey's of Scotland who are famous for their, of all things, ice cream. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Weird. I thought you were going to say potatoes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of interesting facts. And what is haggis? Okay, let me get this right. Haggis is the national dish of Scotland. It's classified as a type of pudding, although, hmm, mm. I don't know if it's it's uh, the kind of pudding that we're used to in America. Not here. No. British pudding is, a, is either su sweet or savory and cooked by being steamed or boiled inside of something. And the inside of something in haggis is sheep's stomach. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Did you just see me turn green? Oof. <laughs> so haggis is made with the animal's liver, kidney, lungs, which is first boiled in a huge pot, chopped up very finely, mixed with as much shit as they can find to drown out the taste, oh, God. <laughs> and then stuffed into a sheep's stomach bag and then boiled. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And fun fact, authentic haggis made with all of that is been banned in the U.S. for import since 1971. Hmm, I wonder why. Yeah, right? You yeah. know they make steak, lobster, calamari, all kinds of great stuff. But we're going to eat haggis, haggis because we leave no chip unturned. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm yeah. so glad you picked this one, Tom. <laughs> and we're going to make sure that uh, Ireland and Scotland try and be friends today because we're going to pair this with Sagatuck's Maggie's Irish Ale. Okay. All right. Sagatuck Brewing Company opened in 2005 in Douglas, Michigan, which is right along the shores of Lake Michigan. <laughs> Maggie's Irish Ale is brewed with their locally harvest, harvested Michigan honey, creating a well-rounded flavor of caramel and tea, Sounds which good. will hopefully pair with all of the awfulness that is about to be unfolded. Yeah, I here. hope the beer <laughs> washes out the taste. Who knows? We shit. might be surprised too. Like I like liverwurst, and I think that's much the same thing. She doesn't like liverwurst, but yeah. I like liverwurst. So, are you going to explain what neeps and tatties oh, are? Oh yes. Okay. So neeps are like um, the the Scottish version of turnips. Okay. They're a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit different color on the inside. Okay. So think turnip rutabaga. Okay. And then they usually mash it up and serve it with um, the taties, which are potatoes. potatoes. We're going to start saying that around here. Are right, we going to have taties for dinner? <laughs> and neeps. <laughs> I don't know. We don't, we don't usually incorporate turnips into our diet. Not turnips, but... Yeah. We're, maybe we will after this. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna can, be we like start tater calling, tots? can we start calling tater tots taties? <laughs> yeah. We're going to make some taties tonight. I will. <laughs> okay, ooh. This, the flavor smell was very like, oof. Oh, I don't know, interesting. <laughs> the smell? Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, the beer smells really good though. I'm not sure what you would call that smell. <laughs> It smells uh, a little dirt. They're um, thick. Uh, thick. They're very, like, perfect. Mm. So where did you get these, Tom? We got these again from Jolly Grub. Oh, Jolly Grub. They're yeah. our friends now. Yeah, they are doing great. They Jolly got a lot Grub of great has a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah. 
Mmm. Very crunchy, crispy, like cracker. Yeah, I like the texture for sure. Mm -hmm. And they're um, well, they're definitely they're not soury. As, kind of, there's like a sour taste. Definitely not as awful as no. I thought they were going to be either. Boy, when he started saying haggis, I was like, oh my mm -hmm. god. What? You can definitely taste a lot of flavor on it. So some of the stuff that they mix in that is oatmeal, onions, seasoning, spices. There's, there's some really good spices mm -hmm. in there. Huh. I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm-hmm. I thought yeah. for sure I was going to be like, holy cow. Mm hmm. They're, they're kind of peppery. Yeah. Um, they're very, uh, got a lot of salt on them too. Mmm. Mm. The beer is good. Very caramely. Mmm. Uh, a lot of on. honey. Yeah, you can really taste mm -hmm. the honey in that there. That was a good pick. Mm -hmm. And of course, the can is super, as I would say, cute, but. It is very cute. And um, I, oh, and it says, crack open a can of luck. Raw. Oh. Very cool. Yeah. And their uh, their motto is, here's to happy. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's to happy. It's I don't a, know if you can see that. Thing. It's a very cute. Um, I'll put a picture on that super, screen. Super cool can. Yeah, it looks like a cool little I'm just all about the cans, folks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Yeah, yeah these are those. awesome. Yeah. I might have another one of those. These are mm. way better than our previous chips we had, which we had mm. some game going on, like pheasant, mm -hmm. duck, boar. Yeah. Well, these are really good, Tom. Exactly. So, what do we got coming up next? Um, we got a couple more flavors from Mackey's this week. Um, I think we have one that is an Angus flavored, so Ooh. beef. Ooh. That should be good. That and good. Another haggis one with black pepper. Oh, huh. But okay. since these are these are pretty good, I'm not uh, I'm not real worried about the rest of the series now. Okay. Yeah. These are definitely winners. Oh yeah. Now, do you think you'd find these anywhere here, like in the states? Mm, I've never even I haven't. When I find flavors that are from overseas, they're usually at uh, Cost Plus World Market. But ah, oh, yeah. I we haven't even talked about there. Uh -huh. We have some things coming up from there. Yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen them there unless I'm missing them. But well, if you folks haven't been in there, which I mean, it's they're not there's not a lot of those around, not a lot here in Colorado, but um, they definitely have like a lot of international. Mm -hmm. If you want something international, you go in there. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Beer is very very good. Good. Good job. I'm looking forward to the um, Angus one. Uh, I think I have a very good beer paired with that one. I think one that's also. the first one I've been looking forward to in a mm -hmm. while. What did I have paired with that? <laughs> I can't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, this whole series is going to be good. All right. I have some good ones. Well, mm -hmm. I hope you're enjoying our chips and sipping series. We're having so much fun doing this. Again, we just really would like you to like our video down below, subscribe so you know when we are getting ready to upload another one, and you can even click that notification bell. That'll help you too. Very. You want to keep up with everything that we got going on. I got a lot of good chips coming your way with a lot of good pairings. Uh, again, we'll leave links in the description for everything that you've seen, and don't forget, no double dipping. Mm -hmm. From now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it. <laughs>